Hello everyone, this is Professor Shi Jun Wang. In today's video, I am going to teach you how to play all the 12 minor scales hands together. Uh, in the previous video, uh, I think I finished uh, teaching all the 12 major scales within 8 minutes. Um, I think in today's video, my goal is to finish them less than 8 minutes because really if you already know how to play the 12 major scales um, for minor scales many of the fingerings are the same as their parallel major scales so again let's start with group one um, group one includes eight minor scales okay it has all the white key c d e f g a b minors and also the G sharp minor. What is the rule? The rule is the fingering stays the same as their parallel majors, not relative, but parallel majors, meaning C minor's fingering will be exactly the same as C major fingering. That's another reason why I strongly encourage everyone to really know the major scale fingerings first, then for majority of the minor scales, it's it's like a free given. So, for instance, let's uh, have one example, not C major, but let's try uh, D major. So, for D major, um, the first thing we, we want to uh, prepare is to find the third note and then also the sixth note. So, the third note is F sharp. The sixth note is B natural, so we will make sure on those two notes we will use our common finger three. 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 And this is also a very, very nice co coincidence. Um, how do we change from parallel major to minor? We lower the third degree and we lower the sixth degree. In this case, we also have the common finger three in them. So not only this will help you to find the fingering correctly, this also will, uh, in some degrees, assist you in finding the correct notes. So now F sharp becomes F natural, B natural becomes B flat. So in D minor, we have F common finger three, and then B flat common finger three. fingerings um, and of course for all the white keys it doesn't follow the same rule for instance for B major the key that has five sharps it has uh, it has to apply the black keys rule which means the two black key group we use two and three and then the three black keys group we use two three and four so here in B major <laughs> same fingering but different notes. It doesn't now have all the black keys but we still follow the rule. Okay. All right. So now we have the seven white keys and then we have one sharp key, one G sharp that also follows the same rule as their relative major and in that case it's A flat. So for A flat, right hand follows the black keys rule, left hand follows the 3 to 1, 4, 3 to 1. keys rule that would be E flat minor the relative minor of G flat that has six flats and also the B flat 
the relative minor of D flat major, which has five uh, flat notes. Okay, so for E flat, we follow the black key through both hands. We will start with left hand two, right hand three, and then we will have the two, three, four group. Now, although we don't have D flat, we have D natural, but we use two and three group. by heart that should be super easy and then for B flat as well we have uh, start with left hand two right hand four two and three two three four left hand four three two so that should be relatively speaking easy okay the last group has only two keys left C sharp minor and F sharp minor and in this case the left hand will stick with the black keys rule one four three two one because that's the three black key group and then for right hand please remember it has a set fingering three four one two three one two three sharp minor so I strongly encourage everyone to learn all the minor skills within this order especially when you learn C sharp please pair it up with F sharp because these two fingering this the, these two minor skills harmonic minor skills follows the same fingering rules doesn't mean the fingering in the left hand stays the same because it since it applies to the black keys rule then I will start with three two for C sharp and I will start with four three two for the F sharp uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode and my, my goal here is to really uh, help everyone who is learning how to play all the 24 major and minor skills hands together to have a quick boost um, because it took me really a long time to find these rules and when I learned I spent a lot of time just building my muscle memory but um, you don't need to waste the same amount of time I did um, and hopefully uh, in this probably 15 minutes lectures um, it will help you with the fingering um, and of course, the reason we practice skills daily is to strengthen our technique. And when we have skills like passages in a real piece, we, we can automatically play them in very, very high quality. So in next week, I'm going to make one more video um, talking about uh, all these past years of teaching experience, how would I efficiently teach you how to play a skill what are the tricks and what are the things people usually ignore uh, but it's super important okay and please subscribe to my channel so that you will get first time notification when I upload a new episode thank you for watching see you next